Imagine you're walking up a hill. It's a steep hill and it's getting steeper. It's hard work but you keep going and at some point you realize it's getting easier. The hill is getting less steep. That point is called a point of inflection. In this case it's the point where the gradient stops increasing and starts decreasing. If you kept walking over the hill, there would be another point of inflection on the way down. And if these hills were shaped like the graph of y equals sine x, there would be many points of inflection regularly spaced along the x-axis. In the part of the graph where the gradient is increasing, the second derivative is positive. We say the graph is concave up or convex. And when the gradient is decreasing, the second derivative is negative, we say that's concave down or just concave. I prefer the terms concave up and concave down because I get confused between convex and concave. Either way, you can look at the sign of a second derivative. Whenever the concavity changes, that's when we have a point of inflection. I'm going to repeat that because it's probably the most important point in this video. A point of inflection occurs when the concavity changes or when the second derivative changes sign. If you think you've got it, how about a quick quiz? How many inflection points are there? Multi-choice. I'll give you 10 seconds to think, but pause the video if you need more time. One, two, three, four. Well done if you got it. To actually find a point of inflection, we start by finding where the second derivative is zero. But that's just the first step. Second derivative being zero does not guarantee an inflection point. We still need to check whether it actually changes sign. For example, the graph of x to the power of 4 has second derivative of 0 at the origin. But it does not have a point of inflection because the graph is always concave up. Here's another example. Again, at the origin, the second derivative is 0. The first derivative is not. But again, it's always concave up. The concavity never changes. No point of inflection. OK, time for a worked example. We have an exponential graph here. We can take the first and second derivatives and solve for when that second derivative is equal to zero. There's only one solution to this equation. So there's only one possible value where a point of inflection could possibly exist. But to show that it does exist, we need to show that the second derivative changes sign. To the right, at x equals 0, we find the second derivative is positive. And to the left, at x equals negative 2, we can show that the second derivative is negative. Therefore, the second derivative does change sign at that point. Therefore, we have found our point of inflection. We can sub the x value in to find the y value. And there's the graph. You can see the concavity changing from negative to positive. Okay, that's it. I hope you found the video useful and don't forget to brush your teeth before you go to bed. <laughs>